So, good evening. Good evening. Happy Friday. It is a happy Friday. Wonderful, beautiful, sunny day today. 30 degrees, man. It was a lovely, lovely day in sunny Andalusia in España. Uh, it's going to be roasting again tomorrow as well. So, I'm going to be uh, up bright and early getting my tan on and uh, soaking up the ambience before we go up to Anfield on Monday and Thursday. Uh, we're playing twice in a week, up or twice in three, four days up at Anfield. So, uh, so yeah, but um, I will be doing a watch along for both of them games with Guna Eagle Eye. So make sure you check them out. Make sure you also check out my Instagram, Lee Gunner eighty two. And if you haven't download downloaded the Flick app, if you want to be in with a chance to win a signed and framed Dennis Bergkamp t shirt, make sure you download the app right now. The link is in the description down there. Download it. Scroll down the timeline to Burkamp T-shirt giveaway. Bottom right of the app, in that chat, as you go on to the chat for Burkamp giveaway, bottom right, it comes up with a little character in the corner. Click on it and put two of them emotes into the chat and you are qualified. Uh, one lucky, lucky winner uh, will be picked at random. Not by me, so it won't be biased or anything like that. And uh, that will be picked, that winner will be picked on Monday night after the game. Um, so, yes, now we've done all the promotional work, let's move on. And uh, we're going to speak, surprise, surprise, about Hussein Awa. And um, Hussein Awa is uh, apparently en route to the Arsenal. Um, I'm not sure how reliable this outfit are, but uh, one thing I will say is um, <laughs> we've seen this story a million times before, haven't we? And uh, it's constant, non-stop. A while's coming. A while's not coming. Party's coming. Party's not coming. And um, I'm going to share my screen in a second. Let me do that right now, actually. I'll share my screen. I'll read you the exact tweet that this particular media outlet have put out. Um, let me find it. There we go. Uh, so let's zoom in. And they are called Telefoot La Chan de Foot. Um, probably butchered that, but there you go. They've got 65.8 followers. Um, I've never heard of them, if I'm honest. I genuinely don't know. They've put out 505 tweets. Uh, but let's scroll down to tweets and replies and uh, scroll past all of this before we get done for copyright. There we go. Right. Translate tweets. So, Telefoot Info Makato. Say, Hussein Awa agrees to join Arsenal. Uh, the Lyonnais favoured the Barcelona and the Juventus. Basically, he doesn't want to come to us. <laughs> he wants to go Barca or Juve. Uh, upcoming discussions between Olympic Lyonnais and Arsenal to refine the proposed amount. So basically, what this is suggesting is that this young man, 22-year-old Hussein Awa, has uh, agreed personal terms with Arsenal Football Club. Um, now, listen, he may well have agreed personal terms with Arsenal Football Club. That doesn't mean we're getting him. Everyone's into um, into a frenzy mode. And listen, I get it. He's a fantastic footballer. 100% he would improve our midfield. But, 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 but. We have been here. We have done that. We have done the roundabouts, as Turkish called it. Uh, we've had this for 10 weeks. Uh, we've known for 10 weeks that he wouldn't mind coming to the Premier League. We know that personal terms wouldn't be an issue. Uh, we've known that Juventus are interested in him. We've known that PSG, City, Barcelona are all interested in him. Now, will this deal happen? That's the question. And well, that's down to us because we've known for 10 weeks it is 60 million euros to sign this guy. They're not going to back down from that. Whether that's 60 million with add-ons or without add-ons, the fee is 60 million. It's not changed. You know, same as Thomas Party, And we got all giddy a couple of weeks back. Oh, party's coming to Arsenal. Let's have a party. Uh, well, that hasn't happened as of yet. And today, again, I've seen Thomas Party out with his agent today. He's put it on his Instagram. Everyone's gone wild, got all excited, got hyped. And sometimes I just sit there and I think, like, do you know you're so teeing yourself up to get knocked back? You know, you're teeing yourself up. Puss him a Thomas Party. Yes, great. I'd love for us to sign him. And I do think out of the two, I'd rather Thomas Party because I feel like we need a bit of steel and a bit of grit in midfield. And for the good and great of this football club, 
we actually need a midfielder that can actually body someone, that can actually make the running in midfield and say, Oi, today you ain't beating us. You are not beating us. Granit Xhaka is not that guy. He's not physical enough. Genduzi is not that guy. Torreira is going to leave anyway and wasn't that guy. Um, Mesut Ozil definitely ain't that guy. Um, I've had shits harder than him. Um, who else have we got? Joe Willock, not that guy. You know, Danny Ceballos, not that guy. The six I've just named, they're just so weak. It is unbelievable. When you're coming up against a Decore, you're coming up against a Fabinho, a Wijnaldum. You're coming up against a Rodri. You're coming up against bigger guys. You're coming up against decent guys, Fernandinho, players like that. You know, you're coming up against big, powerful players. Not one of our midfielders is big and powerful. Is a what? I'm not disappointed that we're linked to him. Don't get it twisted. I've said all summer I want to sign him. But I want to sign him and Thomas Party. And I've said all the way through this now, we need both and more. And I genuinely believe we need them both. And if we don't sign Thomas Party, um, well, great, we could sign a while. But we're not going to be that much better in midfield. Yes, we might create a few more chances. He ain't Thomas Party. Thomas Party is the, the midfield destroyer that we need. He is the guy that it should be the first name that we were looking at this summer. He is in a team that are unbelievable without the ball. The guy would walk into our team and rejuvenate that midfield, in my opinion. He, most of the time, Atletico ain't got the ball. He, he is superb. His positional sense off the ball is mad. But when he's got the ball, he is an absolute baller. Jose Mawa, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Technically gifted. Um, he can dribble, he can shoot, he can score, he can assist. Fantastic, which is why I want them both. One without the other. Um, okay, cool. If I had to pick, Thomas Party. If we only got a war and we didn't put a party in there, I feel that that's not enough. Because transitions without the ball, when we've got a turnover of play and they're coming at us, whatever team it may be, we just get ploughed through week in, week out, unless we park the bus. And um, I feel that that's where we need the Thomas party to just go, boom, move out of the way, bro. Yeah, give me the ball back. Granny Xhaka ain't doing that. Danny Sabias ain't doing that. As good as they've been recently, they ain't them types of players. So I'd love to know what you think about all of that. Do you think that this story is true, number one? Do you think he has agreed personal terms? And just because he's agreed personal terms don't mean the deal is going to happen, by the way. Lucas Torreira has agreed personal terms with Atletico Madrid. That means he's going to sign for him. Yeah, they've got to try and arrange a fee with us. And we're hard work. They'll probably run out of days. Uh, the same as we've got to try and arrange a fee with uh, with their president. Uh, and he's hard work. We're hard work. So we might see him in about 2024, bruv. Uh, but there we go. Let me just divert your attention again to the Bird Camp competition. Signed frame t-shirt. Go and check that out if you haven't already. Download the Flick app. Follow me on uh, Insta League Gunner 82. And uh, I will be back again tomorrow. But I'd love to know what you think. Leave it in the comments. Um, who's more important, party or a war? And uh, would you be disappointed if we didn't get them both? Uh, until tomorrow, uh, midday-ish, lunchtime-ish, I'm out of here. Latest, peeps.